Hello beautiful souls, this is Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here today with another Twin Flame Soulmate reading and today we're looking at the Twin Flame Soulmates in Separation No Contact so we're going to be looking at the Divine Masculine Energy check-in okay so pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to get some clarification um, <clears throat> with the tarot I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support to my channels I really appreciate that um, I have my links down below to my books on Amazon, some Kindles. Um, I'm just to, about to launch some paperbacks on some of the books as well. So that would be an option as well if you're interested. Um, also my deck shop, Open 90 Designs, a Tower and Oracle, a lot I use in my readings. And my patron just £2 a month. And look out for an announcement soon about um, some new offerings. Um, that will be available for people okay so let's get started let's have a look at the oracles let's have a look at the energies for the divine masculine and i'm just gonna let you know the name of this deck i always forget it's called the herbal herbal astrology deck So we have lemon balm, nurture. Oh, well, there's lots of bees. And the number 52, which is a seven energy, which is that spiritual. Obviously, that's like the spiritual path, the spiritual journey, spiritual knowledge. And lemon can be very uplifting. And I feel the masculine is at a point where he's ready to nurture himself, where he's nurturing himself, he's taking better care of himself. And lemon and honey, you know, we've got the bees that produce honey. Lemon and honey is a very soothing drink. Maybe he's been struggling with a cold or under the weather. And maybe he's been taking some of that. Um, but whatever he's doing, he's nurturing himself right now. And, you know, really taking better care of himself. And maybe he was somebody that didn't, you know, he didn't take care of himself um, in a physical or any way, actually. Maybe he didn't do that. And we've got Elder Wisdom number 28. So 28 is the 10, which is the 1 energy. And we've got some beautiful angels here around this tree. And there's like new growth, you know, like new flowers, new sprouting. And the 28 is the 1, the new beginning. So I feel they're coming into wisdom here. They, they want a new beginning. They're coming into wisdom. They want new growth, I feel in this connection okay and that i feel they may have been tapping into some ancient knowledge or just coming into more wisdom becoming more mature um maybe than when you knew them you know maturing in in time and we have dragon's blood animal monday which is the soul so i really feel they are connecting to their soul and maybe aware now of your soul connection and we have the 51 which is the six energy which is the energy of love Okay, so you may have known each other in many, many lifetimes, had past lives where you did have relationships, where you were together. Um, and we've got like the all seeing eye there. So I feel that like the third eye, so they could have had a third eye awakening, they could be more in tune with their intuition, really opening more up to connecting more with their guidance, their inner guidance, following more of a soul's journey, which ties in with that seven energy as well following a soul's journey maybe connecting with that more and we've got horsetail patience number 35 which is an eight and we're in the energy of an eight year and we've got a beautiful um i don't know if that isn't meant to be a unicorn but it, it looks angelic and the star the five pointed star and i don't know anything about horsetail um, but maybe there's a reason for that being there Maybe they were born in the year of the horse, something like that. Or there's somebody that likes horses. Um, maybe they go riding. But this is somebody that's been learning patience, okay? And again, maybe they were somebody that weren't wasn't a very patient person. Um, maybe they've had to really discover that within themselves and really tap into that patience energy within themselves. And we've got hibiscus 14 which is a five, you know, the energy of change. And we've got joy. They want to bring joy into their life. And we've got beautiful, like, hummingbirds there. 
you know, the hummingbirds, like, they gather the nectar, don't they? And they flip from flower to flower, and then it's such bright colours. And, you know, she's like... You know, coming out of her mouth is like... It could be divine language, it could be light language. Um, maybe they're connecting with that online. You know, maybe there's someone that can do that. Um, something unusual, they want to speak... The truth, I feel. They do want to speak their truth. Okay? And they want to bring joy to this situation. They want to bring joy to their life. They want to bring joy to you. And we've got you, Divine Feminine. We've got Milk this sort, number 23, number 5. So we've got 5-5. Five, five. Peaceful warrior. So they want to come in peace, okay? They want to be peaceful. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to cause, you know, a disturbance. They want to come forward in peace, I feel. So they're really looking within themselves, I feel. And with this purple colour here, I really feel they've had some sort of third eye activation here um, within themselves, becoming more enlightened in some way. And we have Yarrow, number 15. So we've got six again. So we've got six, six energy. And we've got harmony. Yeah, they want to come into harmony. They want to bring peace. They want to speak their truth, they want to bring joy, they want to bring harmony and peace to this situation. They want to come forward with an offering, some sort of peace offering, offering and bring harmony between you and <laughs> at least have a conversation. And we have Mukuna, 16, we've got 7 again, so we've got 7, 7, 5, 5 and 8, 8. So if I said it in the right order, so 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. So we've got progression here. There's definitely movement forward. There's progression in this person. Um, there's growth in this person. And we've got journey. And we've got another eye here. So there's quite a few eyes um, in this reading. So I do feel they've had some sort of third eye activation. And um, they're seeing things. Maybe they're going within more. Maybe they're meditating. <coughs> Maybe they're connecting more to their divine team, their guides. Um, but journey, they're open to the journey. They want to have a journey. They want a journey. Maybe there's a journey involved to come to see you. Maybe you live in different countries, um, different continents. And maybe there is some sort of physical journey for them to come towards you. But I feel they want to do that. Yeah, we've got higher consciousness. So we've got the eight. So, we, you know, there is definitely progression with the five, six, seven, eight now. And this is, you know, another eight. So the energy of the year we're in, I think we had another eight. I can't see it now. Um, oh, yeah, here. So the eights are together. So we've actually got five, five, six, six, seven, seven, and eight, eight as angel numbers, like master numbers. are so powerful. Wow. <coughs> this is powerful energy here, definitely. They're tapping into their higher consciousness. I feel they're more awakened. You can see somebody meditating there. Maybe they're doing that. Maybe they're spending time alone in silence and retreat and really going within and, and really connecting to the higher self in some way and getting guidance here. And we have Ay Ayahuasca Rebirth number 50 again. So we've got the triple five. So a lot of people use this to become enlightened or have some, of it, some sort of experience. I'm not saying they did. Maybe some of them did. I don't know. Um, personally, I wouldn't take anything like that. But people do take that. And you can see the, the child in the womb there. And we've got rebirth energy. So they definitely want a rebirth of their divine feminine. And for some of you, it could involve actually creating a child in the near future. This is maybe what you're gonna is going to happen. There's There's the opportunity to create a child here. Okay, I can't see that, can we? I'll put that on last. So let's clarify these with the tarot. Let's go a bit deeper. So we've got the nurture energy there. What's that? Can you tell us, um, for the highest line love, what's that nurture about? So nurture about for the highest line love. about yeah we have the moon energy so i really feel they could be moon sensitive they could be affected by the moon 
um they could be really connecting more with their feminine side i feel as well the moon represents the feminine so they really could be connecting more if they're a masculine connecting more with their feminine aspect but there's a, there's a lot they still don't understand because with the moon things can be hidden you know they're in the dark so there could be still a lot that they're not, they're not aware of but i feel they have more understanding and we've got wisdom here yeah we've got the world card so they definitely want a new beginning they want to start again um, they want a new chapter with you and they're feeling this soul connection yeah page of cups you know they want to express their feelings to you they want to come forward express your feelings sorry about that interruption so yeah they want to express their feelings and we've got the four of wands with patience they want to come forward with a commitment they want to build something solid they want to build a foundation here you know they want to put it on solid ground and they want they want to bring joy into this situation we have the emperor energy so i feel that they're coming into their divine masculine energy you know stepping into their power they are going to take action they are going to go after what they want in a in a really positive way and matured i feel this maturity here they've matured and they want to bring joy to this situation. They want to make amends. Um, they want to make an apology, I feel. And they're coming forward in peace with that peaceful warrior. Yeah, they want to build together the three coins. They want to build together to create something solid with you. If you're, you know, open to that. Obviously, it depends. And they want to bring in harmony. Yeah, we've got Ace of Staff. So there's a lot of passion here and desire. So despite the time apart, I do feel that they still have these feelings of passion and desire, but it's love. They've admitted, you know, they're in touch with their feelings about loving you, wanting to express that, but really feeling this passionate desire to come forward and express this. And some of them could involve a journey, like I said, overseas, over water. And we have the sun energy. They want to bring the sun out into this connection. They want to bring the sun back. They want to bring happy times back. And they're really connecting with their own higher consciousness. Yeah, they're in that single energy, nine of coins. You know, if even if they were with somebody, they could have detached from that person and now. And they're totally in that single independent energy. They've been doing well. They're not in a needy codependent. Maybe they had to heal from those energies. Maybe they were in those energies like codependency or whatever deep healing they needed to do and they definitely want a rebirth wow my god oh my god i just love the way spirit works ace of cups i mean you can't say any more than that yeah with balance and it's divinely guided you can see the angel there this is definitely divinely guided they want a new beginning in love with you they want to express themselves okay let's look at some other energies so we've got fear so I fear a lot of negative cards came out. So I fear that they have been overcoming these issues. We've got fear, envy, pride and worry. So I feel that they were really in these energies for some time and they had to work on that. And again, this could reflect back to the Divine Feminine. You could have also been in these energies and you've had to do that work on yourself. You've had to do that in a work. And I feel that they have. They've been transmuting it, releasing it whatever they needed to do to come out of those energies um, because that those energies can block us. And yeah, they're in the energy of acceptance and perseverance. They want to keep moving forward and they want to have success. They're not going to stop. You know, they want to come forward and have success here with their divine feminine. And we've got the throat chakra. So yeah, there's definitely a throat chakra awakening or opening up. They could be, and we've got another power number here, master number 33. So they could be using sound to help them heal. But I feel they also want to communicate, you know, and maybe some of them have written you a song or a poem or something, a letter. Um, but it could be something to do with sound. But they definitely, and that could just be them speaking their truth. Yeah, there's definitely a throat chakra here opening up. And we've got will. They want to express themselves. They want to take control and be assertive in their life. Yeah, heart chakra. They're really in touch with their feelings now. They're how how they are loving you. And their heart is opening. They want your forgiveness. And we've got a rainbow. 
and that's that wish you know I can never think what that's called but you wish on those don't you and I feel that you're their wish and they, they've got so much passion and desire and they want to bring fun fulfillment and joy into your life into both your lives and they're, they're making a choice and taking back their courage and wanting to move forward wanting to make a change and taking the action because they want a home they want to create a her home a safe home for both of you with the four energy and they're feeling this connection okay they feel this deep connection with you and they want to take action they want to they want to move forward and take action towards you so let's look at what they want to say this is my deck hidden thoughts and feelings i'm sorry i haven't been in touch but i didn't know what to say my heart bleeds for you i'm feeling so good about you and me i'll be telling you my truth soon so they're getting into a more optimistic mindset and I've become stronger myself every day. So like I said, they've overcome those negative thoughts and behaviours. My feelings for you run so deep. We can see that with those cup energy. I'm feeling better mentally than I have for years. So yeah, we can see they've done that work on themselves. There is something about you I just cannot resist. And I want you to be mine, only mine. So they, they want to claim you, but obviously they don't know if you've moved on. I mean, some of you could have done. When I met you, my goddess, everything changed. So they had you on a bit of a pedestal. I feel a lot of them didn't feel worthy or deserving of someone like you. Please forgive me, my love. So they really do want your forgiveness. And I feel they've been working on their own forgiveness here. So I'm going to leave it there. Lots of love and blessings. Take care.